Hi there, it's Kathy Cates and Melissa Hines from the Institute for Pelvic Health. And you're watching Demystifying the Pelvic Floor, weekly videos providing real and simplified pelvic floor education for real clinical situations. We've got you covered. And today we'll be talking through your bimanual exam and how you can start to think about the pelvic floor. So first let's just notice the outside and with a very gentle finger, I don't really think you need the Q-tip, you can just use your finger, it's okay. Um, palpate, the vulva, the labia, and if you notice any tenderness, here's a great tip that Melissa will share that I incorporate into my visits. All right. So the bulbospongiosis is actually a muscle that creates up the labia majora. Um, so this is a muscle that you can quickly assess for tenderness, like Kathy just said, by just gently pressing your finger along the introitus towards the perineum. Um, and then you can gently place your finger into the, to the DIP with, with your um, index finger. And then you're gonna take your thumb and gently kind of pinch around the labia majora and then internally with that index finger, and you're going to find the muscle. You want to make sure that you're not on skin. It will feel, it won't feel dense under your finger. You want that density and you'll be able to gently pull your fingers towards you for 60 to 90 seconds. Um, that is a quick way to do a bulbospongiosis release. And you'll be able to see if it's really tender it, that will help soften those muscles before you go in and do the deeper bimanual exam. And here is just a quick little anatomy of the bulbospongiosis. You can see the red is that bulbo and it makes up the vaginal opening and goes up around the clitoris. Excellent, thank you, Melissa. And so now as an NP, We've just done a bulbospongiosis release. How cool is that? So once we go a little bit farther in, just think about, think about the finger again and think about the DIP and think about your PIP and your MCP. And these correspond to the levels of the pelvic floor. So when you go into here, think about going gently straight in and go up a little bit, go up towards the back of the pubic bone, that's right where the bladder is. And then you're just gonna go around like a clock. So the bladder is up at 12 o'clock, the tailbone's down at six o'clock. And you just very gently take your fingers using about as much pressure as would turn the nail bed white, no more than that. And then you go all the way around from 12 o'clock to six o'clock and notice what you feel. See if you feel any areas of tenderness, ask your patient any very sort of thick, dense, ropey muscles, just like you have a sore muscle in your neck. It's all the same. So you're gonna do that to that DIP, both on the right and on the left. And then you're gonna do the same thing going in to your PIP, same, same exact thing. And then going around on the right and the left, mm -hmm. and then going all the way to your MCP. So. All of this can be done on your way to finding the cervix. Mm -hmm. And I know when we're in school, we're so fixated on like, let's just find that cervix. And then let's see if we can palpate the adnexa. And I wanna invite us all to just start to integrate this into your bi-manual exam. What do you actually feel under your fingers? Yeah. And also a great opportunity to normalize things for your patients, educate them that these are all muscles that can get tight like any other area of the body. And if they have sexual pain, um, bowel, urinary dysfunction, that there is there are treatments. Totally. All right, and that's a wrap. Did you like this video? If so, hit like and subscribe. Please share with your colleagues and comment below to let us know what your big ch biggest challenges are with your bimanual exam. And subscribe to our email list at instituteforpelvichealth.com to get your free guide for tips for managing your challenging pel pelvic exam. You'll get access to our weekly pelvic health content. And then find us on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn, where we'll post more pelvic health tips. 
we're also super excited to announce that we're developing an online pelvic health course for nurse practitioners. Our course will break down the pelvic floor so that you can confidently care for your patients with all kinds of pelvic floor dysfunction. By simplifying the pelvic floor, we'll improve patient outcomes and your provider experience. Thanks for watching and spreading the word. Let's revolutionize pelvic health. We'll see you soon.